Hello, my name's Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of GP Plays All the Games, this time with the Bitsy Jam Bees. Bitsy Jam is a monthly game jam that challenges developers to use the Bitsy engine to create a game around a theme. This month's theme was Bees. I'm playing all the games that were entered in this jam for a minute each. Links to the individual games in the description, so you can check them out further. All my info also awesome in the description, so you can check me out on various social media platforms. And as always, this video is sponsored by the lovely people on Patreon who support me each and every month, so I can continue to record all these indie games and game jam games. If you like this content, check out my Patreon, which is also linked below. Alright, at the end I'll probably have an article of my favorites on BigBossBattle.com. Next. We're playing Honey Quest. You need 100 pollen and 10 nectar to go to the hive. We need to make that honey. I guess we'll go up. I need some more acorns for winter. If you bring me an acorn, I'll give you a drop of nectar. Oh, we can go inside here. Wow, it's a lot of pollen. Well, it's a lot of pollen. They're very good. Don't touch my nuts. Okay. We've got a lot of acorns. If only I could take one from there. We're hungry. You have to feed us all at once. We'll give you something nice. Cheap, cheap. Okay. So I'm sure that we have to get nectar from these like little quests. There's so many arrows. There's there's an acorn. You got an acorn. I'm sure Mr. Squirrel will be grateful if you help fill his lottery. Oh, please help me. Some things are gunking up my innards. Can you please find them? Go through the low-pressure zones on either side of my head. Well, well, it's a lot of pollen. So we've got some pollen. I think this drop is going to be nectar. Yay. we got glasses. Is there anyone nearsighted around here? This is a pretty neat little, like, quest-based game. Oh, right, we should talk to him. Oh, thank you so much. I feel much cleaner now. Yeah, no problem. Thank you for all your stuff. It's my stuff now. I don't have anything to feed you. Thanks for the acorn. Here's some nectar. Thank you. Next. We're playing belligerent behavior. Honeybees, cool. Bumblebees, love them. But I'm sick and tired of wasps and hornets menacing my precious eyeballs. I've been stung in and around my eyes on two separate occasions. That sucks. I would consider this to be about 200% more than anybody should have bet, should have V venom injected into their peribial tissues. Yeah, I like, I agree. I can only go down for whatever, okay. Each incident happened about 10 years apart. The first when I was very young, two or three, clumsy and ignorant to the damage, to the dangers of the great outdoors. The memory has grown hazy over time, but I'm reasonably sure I passed out. This event did nothing to soothe what would reveal itself to be a lifelong nervous disposition. The second time I was about 12, a nest of ground hornets got fed up with the inconvenience of living on a hiking trail and took out their frustration on the nearest human to stumble by. Once again, I enjoyed the distinction of being that person to have a hornet catapulted into my face at match speed. The hornet was probably almost as disturbed as I was when its papery wings became stuck to the lens of my eyeball. I understand why it drove its stinger almost directly into my tear duct, but I don't have to like it. I mean, fair. I did not pass out at the time, but I did learn two vital lessons that day. The first, cucumber does elevate swelling. The second, always be aware of the fact that swarms of stinging insects can erupt from the earth at any moment to obliterate you. This is such a great story. That's such an odd thing to happen as well. I've only been stung by bumblebees. Cut myself off there. And primarily in my hands, for whatever reason. But yeah. Next. We're playing Habitat. It's your favorite flower. It's like three of my favorite types of flowers. We live in a birdhouse. We're tree bumblebees. Some birds used to live here, but our queen kicked them out. That's how it goes. I'm the queen. But what are you doing in our nest? Go away. I'm bald. <laughs> Us bumblebees are tough. I can lift almost twice my body weight in nectar. Shh, I'm a cuckoo bumblebee. I'm thinking of taking over this nest. Don't interfere. This is so cute. Just a little bumblebee exploring. I'm a mask bee. I'm chewing through this flower to steal its nectar. I'll take any pollen I gather home to my crops since I'm not fuzzy enough to carry pollen on my legs like you. Huh. Termites. They seem like noisy neighbors. I'm the biggest kind of bee. Wallace is giant bee. My neighbors are termites. Are they noisy? Termites all over your favorite flower. This is a crime. Well, I'll eat my flower anyway. It's super cute. I like how it's talking about different types of bees. Next. 
We're playing 100% real B autonomy. This is a B. It's a very nice picture of a B. These are really great graphics. It has wings. A danger booty. Leggy bits. And a set of human teeth. This is the last time I'm hiring someone to write a script off of fiber. <laughs> that was a really cute little game. The graphics were beautiful. Next. We're playing Honey. The queen's waiting. Don't keep her waiting. Okay. I like seeing all the different like textures that everyone put inside beehives. Mellow bee, why did you do this? I didn't mean to. Just get out of here. The queen is waiting. No, this isn't good. You're the queen, aren't you? You are accused of eating the hive supply of honey. What do you have to say for yourself? It was just so tasty, I couldn't resist. For your crimes, you'll be harshly punished. You shall not touch a drop of honey for a hundred moons. No. Guess that's it. Don't eat all the honey. This is not a cute little game. Next. We're playing Keeper. Oh, it's such a tiny bee. This Oh, this is cute. Just being like a little dot, and I like the slight animation. Get out of here, Bailey. Leave us be. Go collect some pollen, Bailey. Oh, okay, fine. Buzz. Buzz. Hello there, bee. Help, Bailey. Feeling so sleepy. Watch out there, bee. Careful, B, I don't want to hurt you. So you only have like four to six months to live, so we're deciding if we want to like help the hive produce or save our children or what. This is what we're meant to be doing. Are you still being mean to me? Get out of here, Bailey, leave us be. We'll click some pollen. You guys are mean. You guys are mean to me. I don't know why. Let's hang out with the farmer. Keep your distance, B. Watch her. We smoke, B. You know what? B, try to sting me. You just need some attention today, B. I didn't mean to yell, B. It's a little warm today in the suit. Why don't you go collect some nectar, B? Later, B. I mean, everyone's just time to collect nectar, but I don't know how. All I do is buzz the flowers. Next. We're playing bees in me. Yeah, start. It's 4 a.m. and I'm fine. The skin on my neck is dry, raw. Cracks are starting to show when I trace the edges are crusty. Something else moves underneath. My fingertips, something fuzzy. My throat clogs up. I start coughing uncontrollably. This is really gross. There's bees in me. Are, are there bees in me? The bed frame is pushing into the back of my knees. My stomach, my thighs, my, he my head on my knees. I'm having trouble breathing. My diaphragm feels bruised, has been for days, a dull strain pressing against my lungs, restricting me, my, bre my breathing. My toe is cramped. I massage it like I've done a thousand times at poolsides, shivering, holding in my stomach, scared of people noticing I have one. There's a bit in The Witch's by Roald Dahl where the main character is changing into a mouse and he explains the feeling as the thousands of tiny needles piercing through my skin from the inside. For whatever reason, I thought it was going to keep describing bees coming out of this person's body, and I was really disgusted by that, but they've kind of stopped, so it's a bit less gross. I turn to my left side. My cheek itches. My forehead itches. My nose itches. I turn my pillow. My cheek itches. My forehead itches. My nose itches. It's 4 a.m. There's bees in me. Uh, I really don't like the idea of bugs coming out of human skin. I don't know why, but it really, really grosses me out. Next. We're playing buzz. This is a trigger warning for triphobia, which is like the phobia of clusters of small holes. So if you don't like that, maybe click on the next timestamp in the video now. All right. Okay. Bzz. I collect the nectars and the pollens and take them back to the queen. Sounds good. Now I'm just collecting the nectars and the pollens to take back to the queen. I quite like the simplicity of just collecting. Bzzz. Just saying the same stuff. He's 
these transitions are so good. Zer, thank you. Nectars feeds babies. This is hello, my children. Need juicy nectar. Need sweet nectar. Need cronky ne pollen. Need spicy pollen. Just go behind the queen when you want to leave. Okay. This is one day as I fly outside like you. You little baby. All the bees are agrees you were good at bees. I'm glad I was good at bees. Next. I'm playing Bob the bee. I'm angry. Oh, I'm angry. Okay. Wow, they yell a lot. Wow. Oh. I'm just a little bee. I don't know what to do here, really. The description says this is just like a weird little game made for the jam. I'm angry. So I don't think there's anything else we could do except interact with these two characters. I like what they've done to these words, making them rainbow but also not understandable. I wish I knew why the face was angry. And that almost looks like I should either be there or go in there, but it doesn't trigger anything. Weird. Next. We're playing behavioral modifications. You see a bully threatening a nerd. You are now pissed off. Stop reading that book and being, and being kind to others. Hurt you, hurt you, hurt you. Help me, swarm of bees. Hurt him and he'll never hurt anyone again. You're so stinky. I'm pretending that you're my mom and dad. Get away from us, you stupid bees. This is between me and the nerd. Ow, 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 you're hurting me. Your stings are teaching me a valuable lesson. Are they? The bully is crying like a baby. Yes, cry little baby, cry harder. I mean, now you're kind of being a bully, aren't you, kid? That guy sucks so much, he comes to this park just to litter every day. Doesn't he have a job? What even is this? It looks like a burnt piece of plastic. Wow, this guy really does suck. There's litter everywhere. As a good citizen, you feel compelled to pick it up. I mean, is there a swarm of bees, a citizen? You shred the litter with your badass stinger. Nice. Are you kidding? There's a garbage can right here. What is up with this guy? I'm also just gonna go collect that one over there. Why is the litter over here? The days when there was no litter. Sorry, I skipped through that and didn't catch it all. Move, you ugly bees. I'm trying to litter here. It brings me sweet, dewy joy to ruin this nature beauty of this park with my garbage. Littering is going to be a sport in the next Olympics. Doubt it. Why are you standing so close to me? I can't smell your gross beast butt stingers and it smells like poo. Why? Why are you buzzing so loud? Ouch! Oh, oh! Stop, you stinky bees. This is awful. I hate bees and I love littering, but now I can do is cry. I mean, we're definitely doling out punishments. This is a pretty fun game. Next.